hey everyone i know you've been waiting on this video about the vitamins um i got kind of held up i had to work this week so it's been kind of busy but um i got my notes here and i'm gonna give you the information so i've did a lot of research um we're doing basics of nutrition first video was the micronutrients that was your carbs and fats and proteins and things like that this time it's going to be about vitamins so i'll link those videos together um, what I'm doing when I take the notes, if you guys can see this, I take the notes and then I write them down, you know, and everything, all the facts, and then I put them in a notebook so that that way I can freshen up on them and you guys should do the same if it helps you out. Um, so we're going to get with the vitamins. The vitamins are A, C, D, E, K, B6, B12, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, pantothenic, <laughs> I can't pronounce that word, sorry, uh, p-a-n-t-o-t-h-e-n-i-c acid, biotin, choline, and folate. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to tell you the uses of it, what it, what it's, you know, supposed to be used for, the names of it, and where it comes from. So we'll start with vitamin A. The recommended use for males that's 19 years of age and older is 900 UGs a day. UG means microgram. For females 19 and older is 700 UGs a day. The uses of vitamin A is it's vital for vision, particularly night vision. It repairs tissue and bones. It's involved in reproduction and fetal development helps an immune system to fight off infections from bacteria and viruses. You can find it in whole eggs, milk products, beef liver, non-fat and low-fat dairy products, dark green and rich yellow orange fruits and veggies, especially in carrots, cantaloupes, and sweet potatoes. Vitamin C. It can be called vitamin C or absorbic acid. The recommended dosage for males 19 and older is 90 milligrams a day. For females 19 years of age and older, it is 75 milligrams a day. The uses of it, it protects against the harmful effects of free radicals. It's an antioxidant. It assists in the formation of collagen, which is very important for the health and blood vessels and gums and development of bones and teeth and wound healing. It helps resist an infection preventing and treating the common cold and has been found to decrease, decrease the risk of cancer, heart disease, cataracts, and other diseases. You can find it in fruits and veggies, particularly excellent sources are red bell peppers, kiwis, oranges, broccoli, strawberries, tomato juice, watermelon, potatoes, beans, and carrots. Vitamin D. The recommended dosage for males and females 19 to 50 years old is 5 UGs a day. Remember, UGs is micrograms. For males and females 51 to 70 is 10 UG a day. For males and females over 70, 15 UGs a day. And it's used for maintaining levels of calcium and phosphorus in the body and insisting in bone health and teeth formation. It, pre it prevents bone deformation diseases such as rickets in children and osteomalacysin <laughs> in, adult in adults. It assists in immune function, cell growth, and fetal development. And it also help helps lower the risk of cancer. You can find it uh, is synthesized in the skin upon exposure to UV rays in sunlight. Fatty fish sources such as cod liver oil, salmon, tuna, sardines, mackerel, uh, also in milk and some breakfast cereals that are fortified with the vitamin D, and egg yolk, beef liver, and Swiss cheese. Vitamin E. Recommended doses for males and females is 19 and older, 15 milligrams a day. 
The uses of it is acts as an antioxidant, scavenging for free radicals that can damage cells and contribute to cardiovascular disease and cancers. It contributes to immune function and DNA repair, and you can find it in vegetable oil, salad dressings, and margarine, especially wheat germ oil, fortified cereals, green leafy vegetables, nuts, beans, and whole grains. Vitamin K. The recommended doses for males 19 and older is 120 UGs. For females 19 and older, 90 UGs. Uses, it plays an important role in the blood clotting, thereby preventing hemorrhagic disease involved in synthesis of bone proteins, maintains source, um, and the sources that you can find it in, the main sources are green leafy veggies, cabbage, beef liver, found to a lesser extent in like milk, eggs, meat, cereals, and other fruits and veggies. Thiamine. Recommended dosage is 19 years of age and older is 1.2 milligrams a day. For females 19 and older, 1.1 milligram a day. The uses, it's involved in obtaining energy from carbs. It assists the nervous system, heart and muscle function and regulates appetite. Uh, the sources you can find is high amounts are in pork, seafood, pinto beans, wheat germ, whole grains, potatoes, tomato juice, watermelon, and oranges. Riboflavin. The recommended dosage for males 19 and older is 1.3 milligrams, and females 19 and older is 1.1 milligrams. Uses. Uh, it's required for the release of energy from carbs, fat, and protein, and involved in iron transport and metabolism, and also plays a role in the mucous membrane and skin functions. The best sources are found in dairy products, also found in whole wheat grains, and cereal products that are fortified in it. Uh, dark leafy green veggies, liver, beef, lamb, eggs, and nutritional yeast. Niacin. Niacin, the recommended dosage for males 19 and older, is 16 milligrams a day. For females 19 and older, it's 14 milligrams a day. The uses, it releases energy from carbs, protein, and fat and food involved in maintenance of mucous membranes, skin, and the GI tract system. It assists in nerve function and blood circulation, regulates an appetite, prevents pellagra, a disease that causes diarrhea, dermatitis, dementia, and even death. Sources found in meat, liver, poultry, fish, beans, nuts, whole grains, peas, mushrooms, asparagus, and leafy green veggies. Vitamin B6. Recommended dosage from 19 through 50 is 1.3 milligrams a day. Males 51 and older is 1.7 milligrams a day. Females 19 to 50 years old is 1.3 milligrams a day and 51 and older is 1.5 milligrams a day. Uh, the uses involved in the immune system and nervous system. It prevents anemia by playing a part in the iron transport and metabolism. It maintains normal blood sugars and maintains normal, normal homocysteine levels, thereby reducing, reducing risk of heart disease. You can find this in meats, fish, poultry, beans, eggs, potatoes, some fruits and veggies like watermelon and bananas. Vitamin B12. Recommended dosage for males and females over 19 years of age, 2.4 UG, which is micrograms again. Uses, it helps release energy from carbs, fat, protein, and activates and metabolically active form of folate. Prevents anemia and involved in nervous system maintenance, blood cell formation, and bone metabolism. You can find this in meat, poultry, fish, eggs, milk, 
and milk products, vitamin B12 fortified foods such as breakfast cereal. If you don't know what fortified means, it means to strengthen, like um, to make more of, basically. To enhance, excuse me, that's the wrong definition, to enhance. Okay, this is the word that I'm having trouble with. Pantothenic acid. I believe that's right. If it's not, then someone please correct me. <laughs> P-A-N-T-O-T-H-E-N-I-C acid. Recommended dosage for males and females, 19 years of age, 5 milligrams a day. Uses, it helps convert food into energy as a part of coenzyme A involved in vitamin utilization and assist in nerve function. You can find this in most animal and plant foods such as beef, poultry, whole grains, legumes, tomatoes, broccoli, and potatoes. Biotin. The recommended dosage for males and females, 19 years of age and older, is 30 UG. It's involved in the release of energy of carbs, fat, and protein. It assists in fatty acid synthesis, essential in glucose. Genesis, <laughs> the breakdown of protein for energy during starvation, part of vitamin B utilization. Its uh, sources is very widespread in foods, particularly abundant in egg yolk, meat, fish, soybeans, dairy, whole grains, and dark green veggies. Synthesized in the GI tract by intestinal microorganisms, but not enough to be a sole source. Choline, and correct me if I did say that wrong, um, I think it's Choline, C-H-O-L-I-N-E. For males 19 and older, it's 550 milligrams. For females 19 years of older, 425 milligrams. The uses is structural component of the It's essential for the structure of cell membranes, as like a neurotransmitter. Um, it serves as a precursor for betaine, which may be useful in preventing cardiovascular diseases. It can be found in dairy, eggs, peanuts, soy, liver, cauliflower, iceberg lettuce. Next vitamin is folate. Males and females 19 years of age and older, you want 400 UGs a day. The uses is part of an enzyme complex that assists in releasing energy from food, reduces risk of brain and spinal cord damage during the first weeks of pregnancy, helps ensure proper cell division and red blood cell formation occurs, involving in converting B12 in to its metabolically active form and defends against anemia and cancer. Sources, leafy green veggies, citrus fruits, fruit juices, dried beans, peas, poultry, and grain products. So that concludes all the vitamins for uh, this video. Another thing I'm going to do, um, I think what is next is minerals. So. Then next we're going to do the food triangle. I've already done a video on the food triangle book, on the food triangle, but not sufficient enough where you guys can understand. So, um, make sure you watch for the next video. Uh, we're going to take this step by step. So, if, you, if this is the first time watching this video, I'm going to link the other video about micronutrients together with this one. So it's going to be like a whole episode of videos. I might put them like in a playlist type thing. So you guys can get all the information that you possibly need. Because nutrition is the key factor to your fitness. If you're not feeding your body the right type of nutrition, then you're basically just canceling out all the work you're doing. You have to fuel your body correctly to be able to get the results. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm kind of new at all this and I'm still learning. So I'm taking you guys step by step as I learn it as well. So we can all do this as a team and work together and help each other. Until next time, you guys, everybody be strong and watch for the next nutritional video.